I can hardly believe this. It has been more than three years in the making. You just saw him there, but our next guest is here in studio. This is how we've been talking to Kevin Dundon for three years. Look at this, through the pandemic, we'd often join him. Well, now you're in studio, but through the pandemic, we join you virtually, so this is very like this, from your yes. kitchen in Ireland. Oh, it looks good. It looks great. Like, honestly, we'd have a better signal talking to you in Ireland than we did to people like down the road in Toronto. Oh, you showed us how to make amazing things. We, like, we cooked with you for three years. Yeah. From from a distance, and now you're live in studio. Welcome. It's brilliant to be back, and it's fantastic, particularly in the week that's in it. Yeah. You know, so it's St. Patrick's Week, and you know, in Canada, we celebrate uh, Irish Heritage Month, the whole month for the last two years. So this is our second year officially, the Irish Heritage Month, which is really cool. But I have some amazing food here for you today, and you're going to taste it. I am going to taste it, yeah. and you're going to taste it at home and follow along. There's a QR code on your screen. You're going to pull out your phone. You're going to scan that code. You just saw it pop up in the corner. It's going to take you right to our website so you can follow along. This is called Blind Stew. That is correct. And, and what is it? it? It's basically an Irish stew without the lamb. So many years ago, we were way ahead of our time in Ireland. So we were actually cooking vegetarian food years and years ago. It was just because we couldn't afford the lamb. Well, I listen, today, with the price of meat, today, uh, a lot of people still would say that. So this is right but it's up our so, alley. It's so delicious. So it's mm -hmm. amazing. So what's in the stew is you have onions, leeks, garlic, parsnips, barley. Barley gives you that lovely thickness. Yeah. You've got a lovely broth and turnips. Parsley is in there. And basically, we just put it all into the pot. And you just let it simmer away for like three quarters of an hour. What do you uh, use as your liquid? So a nice uh, um, vegetable stock. Okay, amazing. And if you don't have vegetable stock, you can use water because the vegetables are actually going to give you the flavor anyways. Totally. But really what's, what really makes it is we actually make a dumpling. You so make you can, a dumpling. Yeah, so we put dumplings in there. So what you have in here is you've got your flour, your cheese, your butter, your parsley, salt and pepper, and you add in some uh, Buttermilk. Buttermilk, oh and gosh. if you don't have buttermilk, milk is fine. Yeah. But but buttermilk just kind of gives you a little bit extra. Uh, oh. So you really just need to get your hands in here. So you can imagine that butter will actually melt through there. Maybe yeah, I put a little yeah. bit too much flour in there. So I love live TV because you know if you mess up, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but it'll still, it'll still work out perfect. So, so Dump and then you in. literally just drop it in. Oh my God. Like so. And then how long does that have to cook for? Once so that's going to go into the oven at uh, 180 degrees Celsius for uh, probably about 40 minutes. Okay. And you just, so the whole thing just kind of gets covered up. Oh my here. gosh. So I've got a lovely cloth here just to take <laughs> No, we were prepared. We knew this was going to get messy, but honestly, I think the best dish is you get a little messy before you get the good. And we've exactly. got the goods over here. Um, I'm just going to swap in? this one out. Swap it in the magic of TV. Ugh. Look at that. That's amazing. <gasps> oh my gosh, Kevin, that looks amazing. So you've got one there to try. So just quickly, I'll just explain. We've got Irish solar bread here. And this is this is fantastic. So many years mm. ago, we didn't have any yeast. So we used to, we made it with, with um, baking soda mm. and, uh, and buttermilk. You can see here when you cut it, cut it through, you can see the raisins through there. Oh my gosh. This is traditionally cooked on an open fire. Okay. So it's amazing. But just to give you kind of more contemporary approach to Irish food. We have a Guinness glaze. Oh, of so basically you do. that's Guinness and sugar, just like on the stove, reduced down. Mm. You can just see there, boom, look at that. It's just a thing of beauty. And what you do then is you put a little bit of Irish butter in there. Okay. Which is really important. And then you just get a little bit of glaze. A little bit of glaze. Get it on. And would you, is this like a treat? Is this an after dinner treat? Is this before? When do you no, eat this? No, it's like just, just the, oh, we're going, we're going. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's Irish soda bread with a little mm, bit of passion. That's good. <laughs> it's really good. I can't talk at all. So I'm going to get you to say something to me. Can we say, how would you say cheers? So you say, Shlanton. Shlanton. Yeah, and so if you say, you're welcome, you go, uh, Mila Folce. Mila, Mila. Mila Folce, which is a million thank yous. Oh my God, well, a million thank yous for being here. It's good to have you. Oh my gosh, That's this good. is delicious. The stew is phenomenal. The bread is even better. Canada, you need to celebrate St. Patrick's Day the right way, and this is how you do it. Kevin, you nailed it. Thank you. It's absolutely brilliant. What an amazing stew. Mm -hmm. Soda bread. So and good. a lovely Guinness glaze. Come happy visit us in Ireland. Oh my God, I would love to. I would love there to. Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the Thank way. Thank you, actually, yeah. yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. To all of you, too. To find all these recipes, you're going to head to our social media pages or scan that QR code. We will be right back. This is so good. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.